Hey everyone, this is Unfit Chaos here, and we're going to start off the Season 5 Preview Event content talking about the upgrade units for Spear Sergeants and for Men at Arms. Let's get going. So we're going to start off with the disclaimer. I am a content creator for My.Games and My.Games has granted me access to the preview event for season five. This is coming to you because of that access from My.Games. Think about this relationship as you want. Also on top of that, this is the preview event in the test server. So names, text, all of that can change as well as there can be balancing changes made before the actual season releases next week. But let's get right into it, talking about the new units, but not the new new units, but the ones that are upgrades. So we have two options that are coming to you. These names are different in the preview event versus the actual, but you have the upgrade to the Spear Sergeants and you have the upgrade to the Men at Arms. So let's get into these units, how the promotion system works and how you will handle your units going into the new season. First off, Let's talk about the Spear Sergeants as we talk about how this is going to play out. So these are promotions to Spear Sergeants. This unit has a bunch of upgrades that come with it, but in essence, it is an entirely new unit. So you have to go through stages like you would with other new units or other unit challenges. The first stage will actually give you the Spear Sergeant unit. If you have not unlocked it on your honor tree, this will just give it to you outright. So that way anyone has access to these promotions and not just those that have already upgraded and unlocked them. For tier two, you're going to unlock a doctrine to go with it that will increase the brace damage by 12%. And for tier three, you will actually get the elite spear sergeants. This token can then be used to unlock or promote a unit. The last one is going to be a uh, epic doctrine, which is that an advanced cooldown will be reduced by three seconds. So once you have your unlock token for getting a promotion, how does the promotion system actually work? So you go into your unit. So for example, we're going to scroll over and find my spear sergeants. These ones are level one, fresh new units, but you'll notice there is a button in the corner that says promote. If you have the token that allows you to promote, you can click that and promote your current unit. Let's get into a bit more details at this moment though. Let's say that you have been working with your unit. So we're gonna go ahead and max out this unit. So we're gonna go all the way to level 18. Let's say you went and upgraded and got all your veterancies in there. So we got them leveled up. Let's go ahead and throw some doctrines in. So let's say you have the piercing one on here and you are cheeky and stick on your assassination doctrine. So you throw these on. All right. So you have your maxed out unit you've been working with and you want to go ahead and promote them. What you'll do is click promote. You have to agree to it because this will, in essence, delete and remove your unit. So you agree. You get a fancy little animation. So a nice little cutscene. And now your spear sergeants are gone. So in place of your spear sergeants, you will have the new unit. If you notice, one of the cool things is it will keep its level. And on top of that, it will keep your veteran seed points. So it's going to wipe out the unit entirely, play, replace it with the new unit, but it will still give you all of your doctrines. They will still be inside and applied and you will still have all your levels. From then you can go ahead and actually apply your new veterancies and you can go ahead and apply doctrines again. So you don't actually lose any progress. The only thing is you do lose the unit. So if you do not like the upgraded version of the unit versus the original, it is going to take it out. I'm gonna have a separate video talking about the actual units themselves in more depth about how I feel they play out versus their originals. And that will come fairly shortly. But for now, I mainly wanted to cover the actual upgrading progress. So I hope this video helped you out with understanding how the upgrade process going, is going to work in season five. So once again, you have that with the spear sergeants as well as with the men at arms. So if you do not have them unlocked on the tree, good news is you don't have to bother. If you did and you put all that effort in, you still get your levels 
it's really nice that they didn't make us have to restart from scratch or lose any of that progress. If you wanna see more content like this from season five with the preview event, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any more questions about the content or if there's something you wanna specifically see while I have access to the server, comment that down below, comment it in the Discord that you can find below as well, or at one of my Twitch streams during the event at 12.30 a.m. Eastern, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The event though will end as season five launches. Thank you all, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Oh my gosh. No, get him, get him. <laughs>